All right, we're here. How you guys doing today? Welcome to Traveling with Bruce. I'm Bruce, your host. I hope everyone's doing all right today. Uh, it's a Wednesday, uh, June 27th, 2018. We're coming to the end of the month already. Unbelievable. Coming into July in no time. Wow, just, just insane. How is everyone doing? Uh, uh, happy to report the channel is doing great. Uh, folks are commenting on uh, on uh, videos, saying hi to me. Uh, people are seem to be enjoying uh, the, uh, the shows, which is great. I think we're growing as well. I think we've had new people join us in the last uh, week or so, two weeks, uh, especially on the live streams. I'm noticing new names, which is wonderful. Uh, if you're uh, new to this channel, we love talking about cruise ships and cruise ship vacations. Um, I'm located in uh, in Canada. I'm just uh, north of the, uh, whoa, oh, I think I got a donation. I'm just north of the, uh, thank you, Peter. Thank you. I'm just north of the uh, U.S. border here in Canada, about three miles north of Idaho. Um, gorgeous day today, sunny, beautiful, uh, but not very hot. Uh, we're in about the uh, mid-70s, which is quite comfortable. Thank you very much. Um, although I am a bit warm because the light is shining on me today, but whatever. Um, what was I going to tell you? Oh, uh, the growth of the channel. Uh, fantastic. Uh, we're almost at 2,300 subscribers. Uh, this is great. Um, we were at 100 on December 13th. We were at 200 and 225 on January the 17th when uh, YouTube lowered the bomb on monetization. And now we're at 23, just about 2,300. Uh, the channel got remonetized. For those of you who don't know, uh, we got remonetized a week ago today, uh, 10 o'clock tonight, actually. It kicked in. Uh, I remember the first two hours. From 10 o'clock till midnight, um, I made 29 cents. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, but ever since, uh, on a typical 24-hour time frame, uh, this channel now generates about uh, 5 to $7 a day U.S., uh, give or take, with the, where the views are at the moment. Um, uh, it's summer. It's summer now. Uh, cruise um, cruise uh, views uh, for my channel are off from their peak in the middle of winter because that's when we're talking about getting away to Caribbean cruising, uh, but I expect in the next oh, month and a half or so by about August, things will pick up again uh, quite noticeably as we get ready for the winter season. But uh, we've got our diehard regulars, and there's always something to talk about in the cruise business. There's always something going on, so I'm more than happy to stay on top of that for you guys. Uh, also, uh, developments on the channel. Um, uh, I've been talking to the cruise lines uh, through the PR departments uh, and I'm having a very good success. I'm introducing myself uh, as a YouTube uh, uh, channel, a creator. And uh, I have, of course, the uh, Traveling with Bruce website, the Traveling with Bruce Facebook group page that you guys are finding and enjoying. Uh, I have a Twitter account. I now have an Instagram account. Um, and I'm exposing uh, the channel, you know, everywhere. And the cruise lines are looking at that going, <laughs> what, can, what can we do for you? <laughs> and in the uh, PR, PR department, what I've been after and asking is permission to use uh, photos and what's called B-roll uh, footage uh, from the cruise lines, from the professional photographers that they hire to produce uh, video of their new ships or, or a video of their uh, repositioning or uh, that, uh, sorry, a refurbishing uh, ships when they, when they, you know, cut them in half and expand them and when they refurbish them from top to bottom, they send the professional photographers in there and take uh, take some fantastic videos of the of the transformation of a cruise ship being built right to finishing coming on coming out of the uh, the docks. And I've asked for permission to have access to that kind of footage so that when I do a report uh, on a video about a cruise line such and such or cruise ship so and so, you'll see a far better. Uh, uh, video presentation than uh, than uh, than I could ever put together, and uh, it's a lot faster because there's so much going on in the world uh, with a ship being refurbished in uh, Cadiz, Spain, and another one being refurbished in the Bahamas, and a brand new ship being launched out of Germany. I, I can't be there in person to film all this stuff. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a videographer, and I don't have a team of people to uh, to do this for me. So uh, if I can add, get access to professional professionally produced product like that. Um, then I can put together some nice, uh, some nice eye candy on the uh, video, and they've been more than supportive. Uh, wonderful uh, support so far. I uh, just got an email today from Viking uh, saying, "Absolutely, we we would not mind at all if you used any of our footage. That would be great because they figured it out. This guy is talking to twenty three hundred people uh, on his subscriber list. We know that there are probably four times as many people who watch this guy from time to time." 
uh, and they're around the world. And uh, he also does a daily live show and he's talking to cruisers and uh, cruise addicts. Uh, yeah, that's exactly who you want to be exposed to, exposing your product to. So I've got the call in now to uh, Norwegian. I've had a preliminary discussion already. I had another quick chat with uh, Royal Caribbean and uh, I've sent in my, uh, my, my credentials or you know, my links to my sites to Carnival and I'm waiting slowly but surely I'm building this out. So it's gonna take a few weeks. Uh, hopefully I'll have uh, all the green lights from everybody and uh, that'll help a lot. So uh, stand by, uh, the videos could get even more interesting as we go forward and um, I'm quite looking forward to that. So lots happening on that front. Um, uh, otherwise, of course, I'm, uh, I'm uh, working away uh, on uh, uh, just building the flow of this channel, uh, staying on top of things with with the requests from you guys. Also, uh, my affiliate link, uh, Amazon affiliate link, which is down below here, is uh, is working. Uh, people are visiting the Amazon site through my Amazon link just below here, and if you buy anything on Amazon, I get a I get a finder's fee from Amazon. And uh, another one came in, something like a dollar eighty five came in yesterday. Was, you know, doesn't matter what it is, um, I can't screw it up because. I don't touch the order. I don't touch anything. It's just Amazon's link, and uh, they do a great job. I'm going to move the camera in a little bit so I can hold my phone a little closer to me here and talk to you guys. Um, donations have been coming in from uh, some of you. Some of you are regular donors of mine. I cannot thank you people enough for, for helping me get through the uh, this business. As I grow this channel out, it is fantastic. Um, I'm trying to build as many income streams as I can. To, uh, to be a full-time YouTuber that I, I am. And uh, it's now affiliate links through Amazon, my Redbubble store with the merchandise, um, uh, the, ch the the advertising, uh, donations, uh, Patreon. Uh, it just, just goes on and on. I just keep, just keep growing as much as I can and try not to screw it up and keep moving forward. So thank you everybody for all of your support, your encouragement, uh, your help. Uh, I really appreciate it. It is fantastic. Uh, folks who have been talking on my channel, uh, for quite a while before I went on the air, almost an hour before I came on the air. Um, <clears throat> if you're new to the channel, say hi to me. Uh, tell me where you're watching me from. What's your high temperature today? Are you a new cruiser? Uh, if you're new, let us know. Uh, tell us what cruise ship are you going on and where are you headed for your first cruise? All of us here who are talking would be more than happy to uh, give you any advice you need, any questions you have about cruising, just fire away. This is an open Q&A anytime. Uh, today's show, the theme that I put together is uh, cruise tips for first timers. I figured today I would uh, utilize the services of my followers here who have been on a number of cruises and uh, are addicted to cruising like I am. Um, and we are more than happy to answer any questions you folks have. And we are more than happy to uh, pass on any advice or tips that you might need to know as a first timer. So uh, today I want to talk about uh, what you should be packing, um, what you should be taking on board the ship when you actually board the ship, um, your carry-on uh, carry luggage, what you should have in there. I want to talk about uh, uh, packing cubes, an idea that uh, that's uh, relatively new, last few years, and it's really catching on big time. Um, what you should be doing uh, the day before the cruise, um, and uh, what you can bring on board, what you're allowed to bring, and what you're not allowed to bring on board. All that kind of stuff to help you figure out what it's all about. The first thing I'll mention, though, about for newbies, if you're brand new to cruising, you want to know how to, you know, how to become a, a cruise ship passenger and kind of know what you're doing right off the bat. YouTube is your friend. Uh, you you couldn't have picked a better platform in this modern era. Uh, YouTube is just the most incredible resource to figure out information on anything you want to know. Uh, I've been inspired for years uh, by uh, people who've been posting on YouTube their trips, their holidays on uh, cruise ships. Um, I learned a lot uh, before I even got on my first cruise, which is like 08 when I was on Holland America, the Oosterdam. I was watching YouTube videos back then of people who were just filming, uh, walking around the ship and filming ships. And I found videos on the Oosterdam that other people had made the year or two prior. And so I was watching those very closely to see the what my ship looked like that I was going on. I found people who were, who were in the similar cabin that I was going to rent. So I was watching their videos to see what my room would look like. And of course, uh, they would film themselves in the room. That gives me an idea of scale. It gave me an idea of just, well, how small are these rooms? I know ship uh, cruise ship cabins are smaller than hotel rooms. I know that. Well, how much smaller? And of course, they're highly efficient. They're they're extremely well designed, and so these videos came in really handy. So that when I became a YouTuber myself, 
I was taking advantage of all the experience that I had witnessed, all this knowledge I had gained from other YouTubers, and I started to incorporate it into my work. And uh, and I suggest you do the same. If you're thinking of going on a cruise, by all means, uh, check out the ship you're thinking of going on. Check out the islands that you're going to be visiting or, or, or ports. If you're going to go on a European cruise or Alaska, check out Skagway, check out Anchorage, check out Fairbanks, wherever you're stopping, check out the videos that people are making when they go on their day trips. And you'll see what folks are uh, uh, doing for their onshore excursions. It'll give you all kinds of ideas. Uh, and then there's the topics, drink packages, uh, specialty dining, uh, spa packages. It just goes on and on and on. Um, it's complicated, but it's not. Uh, if you've ever been on a resort, an island, uh, a resort on land before, you're going to be just fine on a cruise ship. <laughs> it's just a moving resort, but it has its own unique quirks. Anyway, I'm going to say hi to the gang, and then we'll continue on with the, the tips for new cruisers. Uh, right now, Peter Heckema said hi to me first. Hi, uh, Bruce and everyone. Another gorgeous day in Tarpon Springs, Florida, with a high of 92 uh, degrees. And really enjoying the pictures that everyone's posting on the Facebook page. Really great pictures. Yes, Facebook group page called Traveling with Bruce. Folks are posting photos like crazy on there. It's fantastic. Every time I go and check out what's going on, I've got 10, 12, 15 alerts. Uh, i got to catch up with what's going on on this thing. And all kinds of photos are being posted from your favorite cruise that you've ever been on, the ships you've been on, the islands you visited, uh, uh, you name it. There are stories on it. It's fantastic. And I welcome all of you to join in. Come on by and visit the Facebook uh, group page for Traveling with Bruce. Uh, it's a great way to stay in touch with the TWB family when the show is off the air. Fantastic. Richard C., hello, Bruce and all. Hello, Richard C., welcome back. And Jordan is here. Good morning, afternoon, Bruce and all. It's 21 Celsius today in Brisbane. Sorry, I missed trivia yesterday. Replay was awesome. <laughs> we did trivia last night. Every Tuesday night and Thursday night at 8 o'clock, we play trivia live uh, Monday to Friday at 5 o'clock. We do this show right here talking about cruise ships and Saturday at 2. It's a mix of the two. Um, and Jordan is saying hi to everybody. Richard C., great show today. Wow, what an ending for Swiss Costa Rica. Uh, the great soccer game today. That's what he's talking about. And Jordan, it's a draw, Richard. Wow. Steaming bean, 19 degrees here in Sandy Bay, Saskatchewan. Uh, Steamer, welcome back, buddy. And Jordan, hey, Steamer. Uh, last day of school today. Yippee. Way to go, Steamer. Uh, you survived another one. <laughs> Richard C., uh, and yes, but did you see the penalty kick by Costa Rica bounced off the goalie's head? Oh my goodness. Uh, the, I haven't been watching. I, I can't watch the World Cup. Don't have time. If I watch that, uh, I won't have a show. <laughs> I cannot watch it. Uh, Richard C., uh, congratulations, Bean. No more little buggers for a while. Uh, steamer all week. I have had a total of three kids. Basically, the kids in the North stopped coming to school. <laughs> as soon as it gets warm out, they're not coming. <laughs> <laughs> wow, another reason I like the hot weather. Uh, Peter Heckham, a high end. Sorry, you missed trivia too. Lots of fun last night. Uh, Steamer saying, who here is booked? Ed Jordan, the EA uh, uh, Bean, that's awesome. How long to your cruise? The Steamer saying 17 days until his cruise. Uh, that is fantastic. Uh, everyone's talking about the soccer game here. Uh, Blaine is here. Hi, Bruce and all. 87 in Hilton Head. Welcome back, Blaine. 2007. Good to have you, buddy. Um, uh, uh, Peter says Bruce always comes up with interesting trivia questions. Uh, I, I keep asking myself, how can I keep this going? How do I, I don't know. I just keep doing it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, blame uh, me in 133 days, he's saying, uh, uh, on the horizon. Uh, and Jordan is saying hi. Uh, see here, a streamer saying, I haven't saved Carnival yet. And uh, saying me in 168 days on the uh, Royal Caribbean ovation. Looking forward to it. Could be a great cruise. Uh, uh, steamer saying, I want to try the magic. Blaine, uh, my wife and I will go on uh, Norwegian next. Uh, we have uh, we have done uh, Royal Caribbean, and of course, Carnival is the one we always go on. So there you go. Um, Anne is wondering if he's ever been on Carnival. He says, nope. Stracy Dunlop, hi, Bruce, and all. 90 Fahrenheit, hot and sunny today in Naples, Florida. Beautiful blue sky. No signs of rain yet, uh, but, you know, those late afternoon uh, showers can kick in anytime. Uh, Steamer saying, I will sell car sail Carnival after I sail Royal Caribbean Anthem in July of 19. Peter Heckema, uh, Carnival seems to have a good reputation now. Steamer, Tracy, I'm hoping for rain here. Don't need any fires. That's right. Uh, Northern Saskatchewan, you want to keep that uh, from getting too dry up there. Um, uh, and Jordan, have fun on the Anthem Bean. That should be awesome. I'm doing a repo on Majestic in 2020. Steamer, I agree, Peter. I would not hesitate going on Carnival either. Um, everyone's saying hi here. And Jordan, um, let's see. Uh, she's just repeating herself. Uh, let me continue forward. Uh, uh, 
Uh, Peter saying, we've been on several carnival cruises. I've always enjoyed them. Steamer, 17 days. I'm on escape. That will be my first cruise since 2014. And in 14, I sailed on the getaway. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tracy, um, Bean, you're going to love the escape. Deck 17, amazing to see everything. Fantastic. Wendy Thompson, good afternoon, everyone. Hi, Bruce. 92 in Bland, Missouri. Boy, stock price, Norwegian, 4810 RCL 104 and, um, and uh, uh, Car uh, Carnival down to 4810. Interesting how these prices have dropped, right? Uh, Carnival, uh, when I talked about Carnival um, just uh, a few days ago, it was at $58. It's now uh, $48. Um, Norwegian, I was talking about it at $48, and it's now $48 again. And uh, our Royal Caribbean at $105. Uh, is Carnival actually down to uh, $48? That would be a $10 drop from here. I'm not sure if it did that much. But, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the markets have not been kind to the cruise stocks this past week. Uh, no, Carnival is at 58. Uh, it was down 169 today. Um, uh, Nor Norwegian down 138 to 48 bucks, and uh, Royal Caribbean to 104.77 down 153. The uh, Dow is off 165 points again today. Another down day on the markets. Uh, it's been a bad week for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Uh, that is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, uh, the Dow 30. That was the beginning of the week uh, here a week ago, and that was a couple days ago, and this is today right here. Zzz down we go and um i think it's gonna get worse i uh i uh i am not optimistic uh with these trade wars that the markets are just gonna be happy go lucky and just everything's gonna be you know peaches and cream uh, i don't think so <laughs> these uh these analysts are going to be going through every public company with a fine tooth comb looking for public companies that have exposure to tariffs tariffs from canada tariffs from the economic european union in europe tariffs from china um U.S. Uh, U.S. Uh, tariffs. When the United States put tariffs on steel and aluminum overseas, all the domestic producers of steel and aluminum they raised their prices. A uh, surprise! And so Americans got shafted by their own steel companies because their own steel companies were selling had to sell pr uh, steel at prices everyone else was selling at. So now they can raise the price because the steel uh, coming in is twenty percent more expensive. And so the U.S. companies raise their prices, and that means American companies are paying more for steel and aluminum. Your car is going up in price. <laughs> That's just from your own tariffs. Just President Trump making tariffs on imports makes domestic prices go up. It's, uh, it's going to be bad, and it's going to be shocking how many corporations are going to be revealing to the analysts, yeah, this is going to hit us with a 10 15% profit warning uh, you know, going over the next three or four quarters. Forget the tax cuts. All those tax cuts are only on profits. If we don't have the profits, we don't pay tax anyway. And so uh, there might be some shocks uh, in the markets. And uh, I, I hate to be a downer, but that's what's going on. Not not good. Richard C. Looks like cruise lines will impose a surcharge on fuel now. The barrel is uh, prices over seventy bucks a barrel. Don't know how much Australian cruises will go up. Um, oil today seventy two bucks a barrel, up to two, another two dollars. It's up from sixty six last week. It's up six bucks a barrel. That's ten percent. We haven't had ten percent inflation. As a as a country uh, in Canada or U.S. for years, uh, inflation could be in for a shock, which means in, interest rates will go up. And if interest go, interest rates go up, the housing market stops, slows right up, car sales slow down, and here we go. It just, <laughs> the wheels are gonna start spinning. It's not looking good. I don't like what I see here. Tracy Dunlop plans for Royal Caribbean Mariner of the Seas September. And back to back in Carnival Victory in February, uh, still searching for deals later in 2019. Good plan, Tracy Scott Weber. Hi, Bruce. It's 72 and sunny here in Palos Verdes. Welcome back, Scott. Tom Henry. Hello, everyone. Happy Hump Day. Yes, sir. Um, Sylvia. Hi, Bruce and everyone. 87 and cloudy in Greensboro. Welcome back, Sylvia. Sunny Wallace. Hi, Bruce and everyone. 90s in the South. Welcome, Sunny. Peter Heckema and my next cruise is Symphony in November. Yeah, that's going to be great. Scott Bashy, hi, Bruce and everyone. Once again, another nice day in Ventura, 68 degrees, waiting for my next cruise. Gregory Hartman, 88 in Tampa, humid. Can hear thunder in the distance, uh, but nothing here yet. Steamer, uh, Peter, during Halloween, maybe? Uh, is Gregory Hartman, being the escape is awesome. I was on it uh, the week before Christmas, so you're going to enjoy it, apparently. Uh, that is fantastic. Uh, Peter saying, Bean, Thanksgiving, November 25th, he's going to be on the ship. And Steamer's going, ah, uh, he says, Steamer says, I'm going to vlog when I'm on the escape. And I hope you do. Let us know what's going on. Uh, keep in touch with us too. Seakeeper, hi, Bruce, and all. 90 degrees Fahrenheit and muggy here in Tequista, Florida. Thumbs up. Wax, wax, <laughs> waxies. He's ready for waxies in case any trolls show up. Trim Thomas, hey, gang, high 90s here in Northern California. Welcome back, Jim. <laughs> Nice to see you, Cliff. It's, it's great to have you back. Uh, <laughs> Gregory, 
Uh, I say a nice bean. Peter Heckema, great. Look forward to it. A sea keeper, whack a troll sledgehammer at the ready. That's right. We're ready to hit him. Cool jazz from the Big Apple. Hello, Bruce from and uh, from Overcast in New York. Uh, 73 here. That's a nice temperature, though. Yeah, welcome back, buddy. A great to see. Keep up the good work, sea uh, sea keeper. Uh, Tom Henry, a sea keeper. Sea keeper, uh, sea keeper. Can we harass them first before you whack? <laughs> Uh, just give us a shot. Just one shot. Oh, man. Gregory Hartman, bring uh, bring uh, $1 bills for tips, bathing suit, and carry on. Here come the tips for new cruisers. If you're going on a cruise, you got to have uh, – bring with you at least $51 bills, at least, and uh, bring some fives, and that way you've got tip money. Uh, you want to – the first guy you're going to tip, the first person you're going to tip is this is the sky cab guy the guy who handles your baggage when you check in down below at the pier but even before you get in the building they should be out there taking your luggage if you've got your tags your bag tags uh you tip those guys i'd give them at least a bucket bag and uh they will uh, they will uh, insure all as well um and uh it, they're worth it because they're working their tails off those guys and it can be hot down there and hard work they're getting those bags from you on the sidewalk into the to the uh, to the pier to the dock and then onto the ship and it is a tough tough job um arrive the day before you fly as well that's right uh, gregory saying uh, don't be trying to get to your cruise ship on the day of the cruise especially if you're flying in you are asking for trouble you are gambling thousands of dollars in losses uh un unintended charges you might have to fly to catch your ship if you miss your ship you got you want to buy a ticket for today on a plane today? Oh, are you going to pay? Are you going to pay? There are no deals today. There are no stinking deals. You will pay. Uh, yeah, do not do it on the day of the cruise. Uh, Sunny Wallace, bring aspirin and a little first aid kit. Oh, yeah, and put it in your carry-on. All your meds, all the meds that you have, whether you're on a regimen, whether your doctor has told you that, you know, every day you have to take this, these pills, you bring those, of course. I'm talking about everything else. I'm talking about uh, Band-Aids, uh, aspirin, uh, uh, ointments, um, you know, like first aid, first aid stuff, all that stuff. Your toothbrush, your your uh, your uh, toothpaste, I guess, uh, everything you're bringing. Uh, the wives, uh, makeup kit uh, in your carry-on. Put it in your carry-on uh, because you don't want it in your luggage. Because if your luggage is delayed or lost, don't get it for three days on an island on the third day of your cruise. Oh, no, you don't want to be going out with your makeup. Have it in your carry-on. Absolutely. Uh, make sure on your carry-on you've got your bathing suit, everything you need for the first day, uh, your flops. Uh, put Bring your sunscreen with you, of course. Uh, clothing for the evening. Uh, whatever you're wearing when you get on the ship, you're wearing for the day. And then uh, later on in the afternoon, you might go for the pool. Then you'll have a shower. You'll get, you know, get washed up and get ready for dinner. Make sure you have clothing for your first night for dinner. And that way you've got basically your first full day covered with the carry-on all your valuables are in the carry-on and the first thing you're going to do when you get on that ship is you're going to just roll hopefully you have roll on carry-ons roll them into your cabin and take all your valuables out and put them in the vault in your room lock them away uh leave your phone in there <laughs> unless you're using it for photos turn your phone on to airport mode airline mode do not do not Try to use your telephone uh, for texting and telephoning uh, unless you've got a full-blown Wi-Fi package from the cruise ship, which I would highly recommend you look into. Um, and uh, otherwise, just turn your phone off and put it in the vault and forget about it and uh, use a camera for photos if you can. Um, go and explore the ship from there and have a great time. Those are just are just a couple of couple of little things to talk about. Uh, check the cruise website. Blaine is saying take things change without notice. Uh, see what you can take, such as soda or a bottle of wine per person on your carry on as well. If you can stuff it in there, by all means do so. Otherwise, have it in a bag. Have the wine, you know, a couple of bottles of wine in a bag. You know, durable type of thing. Uh, if you're bringing cola on board, if you're allowed to bring soda, do it and uh, bring those on as well uh, and take them right to your room. Uh, tell the wine, tell your steward, your room steward. If there's anything in the mini fridge, like if it's full of stuff, treats and everything, tell them to take all that stuff out. They will. They'll empty it for you, give you the fridge for yourself, and then you can put your own cola in there. You can put your white wine in there if you want to keep it chilled. Uh, or if you brought some chocolate bar bars on board, you put them in there and keep them cool, uh, that type of thing. Um, let's see here. Uh, Greg, Gregory Hartman, book your stuff early online before getting on the ship if available. Uh, stuff like uh, shore excursions, if you have any in mind or uh shows uh you may want to book them or you want to book them right away once you've checked into your room got everything done there get out of your room and head to either the spa and book your spa treatments if you figured those out when you want to get a massage a couple's massage if that's in your in your you know plans 
and or go to the dining room, the main dining room, and uh, book your seating arrangements there with the maitre d' and or head to some of the specialty restaurants that you know you want to visit and book your uh, make your reservations for those spots as well. And get them done in the first couple hours while you're on board. Get all that pre-done and it's now done. Not to worry. Uh, Reggie and her man, do lots of research on the ship you're sailing on and research the ports. Many times there are a lot of free things to do so you don't have to pay for excursions through the cruise line. Absolutely right. Uh, if you do your homework, uh, like on YouTube, and you check out what you can do in uh, Grand Cayman, in the Cayman Islands, uh, you may find that, oh, we don't need to, I don't need to book anything with a, a tour group for a hundred bucks a person. I don't need to do that. We'll just grab a, ca grab a cab and uh, take us to Seven Mile Beach. And uh, we're going to hang out there. Or uh, you might rent a car in the Cayman Islands for the day and grab, you know, two couples, four adults, grab a car and go explore. You're driving on the other side of the road. There's an explore. There's fun. <laughs> Drive around the island a little bit and see it. Do, see, do your research as to what to see. It's a lot of fun. Gregory Hartman, try to learn the ship before boarding. Absolutely right. Sonny Wallace, check out videos to see the food, to see which restaurants you want to eat at. Exactly. But if you're not into sushi, Forget about the sushi restaurant. But if you're into uh, Asian food, well, check out the variety of Asian food that they've got. Uh, you love pizza, you may find that they have uh, one or two pizza locations or one or two choices for pizza. There might be the the, the, the pizza thing on the uh, pool deck where they're just cranking them out, pepperoni and uh, you know ham and cheese. Uh, but you may find that they have a uh, higher end pizzeria on board, uh, either that or through the Italian restaurant. Check it out. See, the thing about getting on the cruise ship, is once you're on the ship, you can walk to the location of each of these restaurants, and out the out in the front, in the in the aisleway there, in the hallway, they got the menu for that restaurant. So you can check out the menu on the Italian restaurant and see what the dishes are. So before you commit uh, on the ship, let's say to reserve a specialty restaurant uh, meal, you can look at the menu and go, oh, I like the uh, I like the idea of this. Uh, Italian dish here, or they have this, or they have that. Yeah, let's let's book that for day after tomorrow. Perfect. Go to the main dining room, though. Head over there and check the menu out because it changes every day. And part of my routine when I'm on a cruise ship, in the morning after I'm uh, after I'm up, uh, maybe after I've had my breakfast or uh, uh, after my sauna, I'm I'm doing a tour of the ship. I go to the main dining room every day, uh, the lobby area there, the waiting area, and I'm looking at tonight's menu. And I'm deciding, uh, with my wife and I, we're deciding, Jen and I are figuring out, are we going to be in the main dining room tonight? Because, look, they've got, uh, this is their special today. They've got this or they've got that. We don't need to go to a specialty restaurant tonight. Uh, the main dining room is included in the cruise. Let's eat here. Now, if we've got a, a seating assignment for 730 or, or we don't, and it's just anytime dining, hey, if I know that we don't have a reservation, chances are that when I get down to the dining room, I may have to wait a little while to get a table. I don't care. I'm on a holiday. What I would do is I know that if I'm going to be hungry at 8, I'll be down there at 7.30. And uh, we'll get our little, you know, flashing light thingy that they give you. They take your name down, <laughs> tell you how long it's going to be. <coughs> we hang around the air a little bit, wait for the thing to start shining, go in and eat. Fantastic. So check the menu every day on the main dining room. It changes. Uh, yes, sir. That also, of course, the wait staff is very flexible. They're very eager to please. And... Uh, you ask them, uh, well, you know, can I have, uh, I don't see it on the menu, but is it possible to get a shrimp cocktail tonight? Let them find out for you. They might be able to bring you shrimp cocktail because the kitchens down below serve us all kinds of different restaurants. You let the waiter do their thing. Remember, bring a bunch of $1 bills with you when you're in the dining room and uh, slip that waiter at the end of your meals, you know, two or three dollars, two or three extra $1 bills for the service that they gave you. <laughs> wait till you show up tomorrow night. <laughs> I can't wait to see it. All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, for a few, for a few cruisers, Richard C. Is saying for a few cruisers, don't forget to join the cruise, d join Cruise Critic, which you can find info on the cruise line, ships, cabins, and stops that the ships makes. It's a site for your comments on cruises. You can, uh, you can go to that. You can become a member of CruiseCritic.com if you want, or I believe you're allowed to read uh, the postings without being a member and just sort of uh, read and learn type of thing. Some of the folks who uh, post there post photos. Uh, another way to get research is, of course, on Facebook. Uh, Facebook, uh, go to the search bar on Facebook, enter in the name of the ship you're going on, uh, or enter the name of the port you're going to, and you'll find all kinds of postings on Facebook. But YouTube is where you get the where you get the uh, you know you get the moving pictures. Uh, of course, a channel like mine, you find a channel like mine, you go to my homepage, you go to the playlists, hit the playlists that I have, and you'll see all these playlists 
that I've made of different cruise lines, cruise ships, um, tips for new cruisers, packing tips. Check out all my videos. I got, I don't know how many I got now, 300 videos up. A lot of them are these longer videos, but a bunch of them are um, 5, 10, 15 minute videos. Tips are on what to do on a cruise. Check it out. And same with other YouTubers as well. Uh, Reggie and her man, watch YouTube cruise, watch cruise on YouTube channels like Bruce Don's Family Vacations, Cruising with Wheels, Cruise Tips TV. Absolutely right. Iskew Park. Hi, Bruce. <coughs> it's Iskew in Thunder Bay, Ontario. It's 19 Celsius here. Sunny and pleasant. Nice. You're like around almost 70. Fantastic. Getting some decent weather now. Gregory Hartman, remember to keep the ID and passport on you for boarding. Absolutely. Your papers have your papers with you at all times. Randy Lucas, hello, Bruce, and all sunny here in Paradise, California, with a high of 92 degrees. Um, uh, still under the weather, but hopefully on the mend. I hope you are, uh, Randy. I know uh, Michelle is trying to take good care of you. Take it easy and get better fast. Reggie and her man, 300 plus days till Getaway Baltic. Uh, 300 days. Oh, it's a long one, but it's coming. Ra uh, Robert is here. Robert Brandt, 84 in St. Thomas, U.S. Virgin Islands. Welcome back, Robert, to the show. Steaming Bean, Baltic would be a cool cruise. Yeah, it would be. Uh, Tom Henry Bean is escaping Canada. I laugh out loud. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, do uh, do I want to escape? Do I want to go on the escape or getaway? Not sure. <laughs> do I want to escape or getaway? Uh, well, either or. <laughs> Play on words. Debbie Emanuel. Hi, Bruce. And I love the chatting that happens here before the, even sh the show even starts. A high of 93 in Chico today. Uh, can't hear show, can uh, but can read a lot. Can't hear show, but can read. Oh, I see, because you're at work and you're sneaking the show behind your boss over there. I, I know what's going on. Well done, Debbie. <laughs> what's it, two, three more days and you're on a cruise. Just three more. Just hang in there. You got to work today, work Thursday. Are you taking Friday off? And then get out. I, I'm hoping for the best. Uh, she's going to the uh, to the Bliss in Seattle with her, I think with her mom. Fantastic. Gregory Hartman, I want to, I want to, I want to try the getaway. The escape was a blast. Uh, Steamer, I like the escape over Epic. Uh, Debbie Emanuel, um, it's a Manny Petty day for Mom and I. Oh, that's what she's doing. Oh, the pressure of pre-cruise errands. It's Manny Petty day. She's not at the office. Heck no, she's watching me getting her manicure. <laughs> I love it. Fantastic, Debbie. Fantastic. Uh, Gregory Hartman, a kid, uh, a kid I met on the slide said the same thing. Bean. Uh, he liked the one ship over the other. Interesting. Um, Steamer, Debbie Manuel, are you a football fan? Uh, Ann Jordan, uh, hey, Debbie, how long now to the bliss? Uh, I think it's two or three days. Steaming Bean, the epic lack of uh, a feel at sea feeling. Tom Henry, 84 in Richmond with impending storms uh, coming, isn't it? Gregory, uh, I'd, I'd still like to try it if the price is right. Uh, Tom Henry, have a good trip tomorrow, Debbie. Ann Jordan uh, saying, hey, Tom Henry. Um, the Dow is my cruise money, uh, Richard C. says. Uh, Debbie Manuel, American football, not so much. Uh, since kneeling for Anthem, though, world football, I don't really keep up with. Uh, uh, we'll have to before uh, world. We'll, we'll have to before World Cup, though. There you go. And uh, Jordan uh, asking how Jazz is doing. The steamer, Debbie and I. Uh, Debbie, I know you live near Redding, California, and the CFL has, has two quarterbacks from Redding, California. Uh, Tom Henry, is mom is mom your companion on the cruise? I was wondering if you were going single or not. Tom Henry's asking Debbie. Uh, cool jazz saying half dollar bills like you're going to the strip club. Uh, <laughs> did, did I just say that out loud? Oh, well, friends of yours who've gone to the strip club. Well, not you, of course. No, people you've heard of. You've, you saw movies. You saw it in films. Wendy Thompson, 98 on Saturday. Oh, boy, hot. And the cards are playing that day. Oh, man, that's going to be tough. Baseball. Cool jazz. Hello, Lady Anne. How was your day? Tom Henry Anne. only 276 days till my next cruise. Lots of Bruce to keep the craving at bay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's see here. Um, Anne is saying hi to jazz. Cool jazz. Uh, uh, it was actually pretty good things. Busy today. Uh, let's see here. Um, Debbie Manuel Bean, do you remember their names? <laughs> uh, the quarterback name she wants to know. Um, and how do you put put a name uh, in the color box? How do you put a name in the color box? I, I don't even know what that what he's talking about. What do you mean, Scott Weber? Will I need a bathing suit on my Alaskan cruise? Well, yeah, on board swimming pools. Yeah, and they've got they they enclose they enclose them with the with the uh, moving roof. Yeah, get, take your trunks. Absolutely, there's hot tubs too. You know, they got the spas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I wouldn't go on. A, I wouldn't go on a cruise without my trunks for sure. Seakeeper, bring a uh, a roll of duct tape uh, and a can of WD-40 
Uh, if it won't move, spray it. If it won't stay put, duct tape it. <laughs> That's right. Uh, if you've got uh, you've got closet doors that are clanking or something like that, uh, duct tape them. That'll stop it. Uh, that's why you bring duct tape. Absolutely. Um, let's see here. Before you go, Tracy says, uh, book your reservations for dinner and shows excursions. If that's possible, do it. Tom Henry, Scott, maybe long underwear suit. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Steamer is saying, I have to get, um, what's he saying here? I have to get a pedicure before I head off on the 15th. My two big uh, toenails look ugly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness uh, uh and jordan's going tom color box what, what's that uh scott weber bring lysol or some laundry bleach to disinfect surfaces those hand wipes and purell if you can get them in hand wipe bring your own purell and uh by all means uh, uh keep your surfaces clean even in your cabin uh baby wipes if possible cool jazz is saying uh, gregory uh uh, Mene hangers for the walls how about that uh, scott weber which ships need show reservations the big ones the big ships need show reservations. Uh, Eliza is here. Hey, from California. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Eliza. El Elisa, nice to have you back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stephen Bean, <clears throat> if I'm wearing flip-flops, I want my toes looking pretty. <laughs> That's exactly right. Cheers, everybody, from Traveling with Bruce. Welcome one. Welcome all. Uh, Peter Heckema. Bruce, we booked the inaugural cruise out of Miami on the symphony of the seas a year ago only to see that royal caribbean snuck a cruise in just before us disappointed that we won't be on the first cruise from miami how about them apples uh if they promoted that cruise to you as a you know big time inaugural and now it isn't uh that isn't cool but uh, they may well still say it's inaugural week or something like that i don't know uh, but that is a bit of a downer. Uh, Robert uh, Brandt, uh, clothes pins come in handy to hang things on the clothesline in the shower. And those giant clothes pins, they look, they're about this big, big six-inch long, eight-inch long clothes pins. You use those to keep your towels from blowing off of your loungers by the pool. Use those, those clip-ons to keep your, your, your uh, towels hung on there. I, I have a link in my uh, Amazon store that I've got. Uh, for those, if any of you need them. Uh, cool Jazz, um, uh, check TripAdvisor for info about ports you're visiting. Interesting. Um, Blaine, Bean, don't forget the petty. Don't forget the petty. Elisa, no guys burgers. No guys burgers on the Splendor. That's a downer. They haven't got them all built out yet. Isn't that something? Steaming Bean, I disembark from New York at 9 a.m. and my flight leaves LaGuardia at 8 p.m. Any recommendations? <laughs> uh steamer i i i'm uh, uh is it the day before you're leaving the night before uh to get to your, your trip uh i hope you don't miss it robert brandt guys burgers are pretty good scott weber talk about dining choices check out the new celebrity edge he says there will be choices there steamy bean blaine my big toes are hideous and <laughs> and jordan saying hi elisa uh blaine um they would they would charge you double for that <laughs> <laughs> they are gnarly, he says. My nails are gnarly. Tom Henry, Scott, all the big ones, from uh, my understanding, uh, you need the big ships you need to reserve. The theaters are not much different than the smaller jewel-class ships, but with 1,500 passengers uh, is the problem. The shows are full. Uh, that's right. If, if you have you have 5,000 passengers uh, on board a cruise ship and the uh, theater holds 1,500 at a time, oops, uh, you know, chances are there will be nights where 2,000 people want to see a show. So uh, you're going to have to reserve your seating uh, to be sure you get in there. Absolutely right. Peter Heckema, take sanitizer with you to wipe down your cabin and lots of $1 bills for those extra tips. You will be surprised at the service you will get for a few extra bucks. Scott Weber, has anyone here uh, been on uh, Celebrity? They look interesting. I have not myself, but I've heard good things about Celebrity. It's a notch higher. It's kind of like a Hall in America equivalent. Uh, so Hall in America is owned by Carnival. Celebrities owned by Royal Caribbean, uh, and it's kind of an it's like five five and a half star. It's kind of nice. Um, ships they, they they haven't had a new ship for a number of years, but the Edge that's coming at the end of this year will probably be the first ship in five or six years. Their first new one. They've been re, they've been doing refurbishings on their others, of course. Uh, the steamer, my brother likes Celebrity. He says, and Jordan definitely agree. TripAdvisor app is great. Jazz. Tom Henry Bean, walk over to the Empire State Building and see Scotty from the Star from Star Trek do his show. Oh, how about that? Mary, uh, Mary Ellen is here. September on the Oasis. I will be enjoying the deluxe beverage package for the first time. Adult son doesn't drink. 
got approved to just buy my package for the cruise. Just get my own, and he doesn't have to get one. Very good. Uh, Mary, that's going to be great. Uh, Lisa, uh, I booked at the steakhouse on the first night and got a free bottle of wine. So make your reservation for the first night at the steakhouse, and they'll send you, they will send you an email. How about that? That was in Carnival. That's great. Robert Plant, uh, so true. Uh, one, dollar, one to five dollars goes a long way, and they remember they do not forget. Uh, they know uh, steamer, uh, maybe 30 Rock. That's another place to go in New York. Scott Weber, try Cruise Line also. Uh, Steamy Bean, Bruce, do you sell lanyards? Uh, do I sell lanyards? Uh, let me think. Let me think on uh, Redbubble. Do they have lanyards? I can't remember. We've got the tote bags. Uh, I don't think so, Steamer. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I do sell lanyards on the uh, on the uh, thing. Um, I can send you a lanyard from the uh, the Super Bowl uh, that was held in uh, Detroit, Michigan. Uh, if you're interested, uh, because I have some left over from my old sports store, uh, and you can put your stuff in the uh, what would be the ticket holder for the Super Bowl tickets. You can put your stuff in there if you want. Uh, that I've got, but I don't have uh, I don't have any uh, cruise ship lanyards or anything like that. Nothing with tra traveling with Bruce lanyards. Tom Henry just logged into my uh, Norwegian account. Uh, still no tours for Costa Rica, but they are saying only one more day for the dollar deposits. But they still don't have much posted for 2020. Looking for the for the star repositioning cruises. Interesting, Tom. That's interesting. The thing you may want to call the 800 number and just talk to them directly if you can, and ask them, hey, what you know. What can you find for me? Uh, you got this one dollar deposit deal. Uh, what kind of cruises on a repo? And then find out. Maybe they can make you. Maybe it'll help you on the phone. And Jordan, sorry guys, my tablet is playing uh, is playing up. Eek. <laughs> Robert Brandt, the passport card is very handy and waterproof. Uh, Jim Thomas, uh, Deb Emmanuel is off already. Um, uh, that's fantastic. Uh, that's right. Uh, that's right, Jim. She's already off work as it is. She's getting ready for for her cruise. Just thinking about the uh, the uh, lanyard thing. I did have a link on my Amazon uh, page uh, in my Amazon store. Um, I have a uh, link in there for a, a lanyard with the holder. It holds your cell phone and holds your your ID and stuff. If you want, if you need one of those, it's waterproof, sandproof. So if you take it on the beach, you're not going to get any dirt on your phone. You can grab one of those through Amazon. They're not that expensive, and uh, you can always get that through my link if you want. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, uh, I would skip the Epic just due to the rotten bathroom si setup in the cabins. You got the toilet on the one side, you got the uh, the shower on the other side, and then you got the sink over here on the outside, isn't it? Yeah, I, I remember that. Uh, weird French designers, I guess he said. Uh, let's see, Richard C. Cruise tip: uh, magnets with hooks can hang hats, bags. Backpacks to walls of the cabin keeps the clutter down. That's right. Get it off the floor. Tom Henry Bruce, what do you know about Europe's apparent lack of wash cloths in Barcelona? They didn't even know what I was talking about. Uh, our stay in the Holiday Inn in London was similar. Isn't, isn't, that, isn't that the weirdest thing? I'm surprised at that. Uh, uh, I, I can't really comment on it. I don't. I don't know why Europe is that way. Um, can't uh, can't address it. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, here in, in a typical hotel, I mean, you go to a Motel 6 in Chattanooga, you're going to get a, a washcloth and then a sort of a tea towel size and then the full bath, you know, the full bathrobe, which will cover kind of this much of your body. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know, Tom. That's kind of weird. A steaming bean, the quarterbacks are Drew Willie and Ricky Ray. Ricky Ray for the Toronto Argonauts. Uh, Drew Willie, uh, who's he playing for? Is he with the uh, – the, um, He's not with the Alouettes, is he? He's not the Alouettes. Is he uh, Ottawa? Who's he playing for? I'm not sure. Uh, but Ricky Ray is, is off for a while. Ricky took a nasty shot uh, from our Stampeders the other day. He's out probably for the rest of the year. Suzanne Hoffman, when you have an interior room, you can leave the TV on all night, turn to the station featuring the ship's webcam. It gives you a night light uh, and a window to the outside. Yeah, you can do that if you like. Otherwise, Shut everything off, and it's nice and dark in there. Uh, whatever you like. Steamy Bean, Drew Willie, plays for Montreal, and Ricky Ray for Toronto. There we go. Tom Henry, uh, Bruce, the color box, I refer, is when a name is in color to stand out. No idea how this is how that is done. Um, okay, but but where, Tom? Uh, I, are you talking about on this chat, or are you talking about Facebook? or Where are you? I have no idea what you mean. Robert Brent, if you uh, add a name, it gets highlighted. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Uh, there's a tip for you. 
Cool Jazz at Tom Henry. Put the at sign and type first letter of name. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't see any color bars here, but whatever. Steamy Bean. Bruce drinking a darn caffeine concoction. Caffeine free. It was brown fuzzy water. That's all that is. It's just, it's just brown fuzzy water in my traveling with Bruce mug right there. Cheerios. Ah, brown fuzzy water. Judy Anstess is here. Hi, Judy. How's it going? Hi, Bruce. Long time no see. I know. Where have you been, girl? Busy summer. My daughter and son-in-law are on their 10th wedding anniversary cruise to Mexico. Nice. I'm ready for another one, too. I bet. Nothing wrong with a 10th anniversary cruise or any kind of cruise. Uh, Tom Henry, Bean, um, I have the toenails done <laughs> in NCL blue <laughs> with NCL on the big toes done. <laughs> Done on my cruise to Barcelona in the spa. It was free with the pedicure. I wanted to get my money's worth. <laughs> All right, on time. <laughs> cool, he said. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, my goodness. Steaming mean. Now, beauty work on the ship is costly. Uh, cool jazz. <laughs> that first cruise might not be a revenue cruise. Could be for travel agents. Oh, that's the uh, Symphony of the Seas. That might be one of those promo cruises for travel agents, and that may be why they snuck that in there. Uh, might not even be for sale. I don't know. Steaming Bean, getting my big, ugly toenails looked at when I'm in Saskatoon next week. <laughs> Steaming Bean, no, Bruce, I leave the ship and have almost 12 hours before my flight takes off. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, great. Okay, perfect. Okay, I got you. Um, I, I see what you're saying. When you, this is when you're coming back, not when you're going out. Oh, okay, okay. Blaine, you may need to call a tow truck when you're in Saskatoon, Bean. <laughs> A tow truck. <laughs> Steamer's laughing. Oh, Tom Henry, I seem to notice someone subscribed to my YouTube channel. What channel? Laugh out loud. I never did anything other than sign up. I, I don't know. I don't do anything. <laughs> I don't know, Tom. You're doing something. I don't know what it is. Robert uh, Brandt on Carnival. If you go to the casino, they will give you a free lanyard. Ah, that's right. Yeah, they give you free lanyards. That you can always ask for them too. Sometimes you can ask for free lanyard at the front desk on on cruise ships, right? When you you know when you get into the main lobby, go to the front desk, ask them if they have lanyards. They might give you one for nothing. Uh, you know, with the logo on it, the cruise line. Yeah, Robert Brandt uh, saying that. Okay, Steaming Bean, you send me that one, please. <laughs> Steaming Bean, what do you mean, Scotty from Star Trek? Uh, Steamers wondering three hundred sixty dollars. He's saying on a seven day cruise, grab it. Good deal. Elisa, corrections. I saved $360 on my trip. Still working on an upgrade, uh, on upgrade suggestions. Oh, okay, okay. Being 28-day cruise on Golden uh, in April, he said. Richard, Richard C. is saying. Steamer, 28 days is awesome. Four weeks. Wow. Richard C. at the Steaming Bean. Thanks. Will be fun. Matt, Bruce, I'm live again. And one day before my symphony cruise. Welcome back, Matt, to the show. Uh, Paul Ada, Sin is, uh, S-I-N is out on this beautiful day. The sun is out on this beautiful day in Moose Factory, Ontario. Welcome back, Paul, to the show. It's nice to have you here. Steaming Bean, I am so jealous. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, uh, Steam Bean, it's been a while, so he might not be there anymore, but they had Scotty doing a video tour of New York City. Ah, oh, very interesting. Uh, but it'd be kind of cool to watch. Uh, Steamer, I wish my big toes looked normal. <laughs> Sigh. Chevy First, hi, all. Welcome back, Chevy First. 87 days and counting. I already did the online check-in. Fantastic. You're getting ready. You are organized. This is fantastic. Laugh out loud, Bean, from Ann Jordan. Uh, uh, Chevy, first, make sure your passport has more than six months' life in it uh, uh, when you get on that ship. Uh, you don't want to be trying to get on a cruise ship with only two, two uh, months left. But if you've already done check-in online, you probably already have your passport info in there, and it's all good. Fantastic stuff. Uh, other tips for first-time cruisers. Uh, today is the advice show. We are giving advice to first-time cruisers. Uh, those are cruising wannabes, uh, uh, folks who haven't been on a cruise in a while. Stuff you need to know, stuff you should be thinking about, ideas, tricks, uh, uh, hacks, all the terms that are being used right now on social media. Um, uh, packing cubes. Um, I was. Uh, I, I did a. Uh, I did a little uh, link, a promotional link to an Amazon uh, item for packing cubes, um, and then I did a video about uh, packing for a cruise. And how these packing cubes have uh, are really handy. Where you you might have like four or six of them that, that uh, to, uh, once they're filled up with product or your good your stuff, you can fit all four or all six of these packing cubes in one suitcase. And one one packing cube might well be uh, uh, just your 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 makeup, uh, you know, your your bathroom stuff. Well, that goes to your carry on. You have another packing cube that might be just your shoes. 
all the shoes in one. Oh, that, that goes in the suitcase. You got another packing cube that's all the pants for, for him and her. You put all the pants nice and flat in you know, layer upon layer upon layer inside the packing cube. You can pack 135% of stuff in there that we that would normally take 100%. Because a packing cube, it will condense it a little bit more. So you get a, a third more stuff inside a packing cube. And then the cube goes in the suitcase or in the carry-on. And uh, you can take 35% more stuff or uh, you have room in your suitcase uh, for stuff to bring back, stuff you're picking up, whether you're buying uh, souvenirs, some T-shirts down there, a hat or two, whatever you, you're fancy when you're on a holiday, you're picking up some souvenirs, you can bring some back because you got room in your suitcase or your carry-on because you're using packing cubes to take it. Packing cubes are kind of cool because they're, um, they're, um, um, they have a mesh top so you can see what's in them. Right, just hold the cube in front of you. And go, oh yeah, these are the shirts. Oh, these are the dresses. These are the shoes. These are the mats. These are the. There you go. You don't have to open the bag and well, what did I pack in that one and then close it up again. No, that's not it. What did I pack in that one? You can just look in the top and see exactly what you have. Make a list uh, before you even pack. Uh, before you go on a cruise, make a list of what you should be taking with you. Uh, all the meds that you have to be taking. Uh, go through your medicine chest uh, in your house and look at your. Uh, you know, look where your band aids are. And find out all the where the ointments are and whatever you need to take your headache pills and whatever, uh, and then write it, write it on a list so that when it's time to pack, you just go over your list and go, oh, yeah, check, check, I got that, I got that, I got that, and uh, that will make it a lot a lot less stressful to where you haven't forgotten anything. Very good. Now, if you haven't, if you're supposed to take, uh, you, you decide I want to take some bandages, and then you remind uh, you you remind you, you find out that uh, uh, we got a troll here. You find out that um, you uh, um, you find out that you don't have the item. You want to take some like a little band aid kit or something like that, a first aid kit. You don't have one at home. Now the the list turns into a shopping list. You, you make a different signal symbol. Say I got to go and buy that before the cruise. You do that. Okay. Uh, let's see if we have any more morons who've come in here uh, who are trying to make uh, make uh, some havoc here. Uh, steaming bean. Uh, I saw that packing cubes link. You did a good job on that, Bruce. Need to get you on the home shopping network. There you go. Uh, okay, we got that guy out of there. Um, let's see here. Cool jazz 135 cent for more might make you overweight, will cost you more at the airport. Depends on, yeah, of course, if you're traveling by air, be careful. Uh, Wendy Thompson, we got one. I, I just got rid of uh, steaming. I am leaving Sandy Bay with two carry ons right on. Nice, well done. Troll hunters are ready. Wendy saying, uh, sea keeper eat lunch in the dining room on embarkation day. Because the buffet will be glorified, a glorified zoo, sit back and relax the service. Boy, is that ex that's an excellent suggestion. I have yet to do that. Uh, I've been on six or seven, whatever number of cruises. I've always gone to the buffet. And you're right on every time I go to the buffet. It's packed. There's all kinds of people in the buffet because it's the first day of the cruise. Don't do it. Next time I go on a cruise, I'm going to go to my room, get rid of my stuff. If I'm hungry, I'm going to grab Jen and we're going to go to the main dining room and be seated for lunch in the main dining room they have seating for five six hundred people there'll be plenty of room and it'll be calm it'll be quiet the music will be playing in the background and the waiter will take care of your order and it'll all be made to order right off the menu want a steak for lunch if they offer a steak sandwich have a steak sandwich for lunch thank you very much check out the specialty restaurants on the first day of your cruise even for lunch they might have a special uh, 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 an embarkation day special for lunch at a specialty restaurant. Um, if I recall, if you're on Carnival and they've got the, uh, the Guy Fioretti barbecue restaurant going, the one in the in the restaurant lounge area, that might be free on the first day. That might be no charge. Uh, uh, but the other specialty restaurants might be on a on a deal. It might be like regularly twenty bucks. It might be ten. Now, if you can get yourself a filet mignon steak, <laughs> baked potato, and veggies uh, for your first meal on a cruise on embarkation day, uh, I'd check that out if it was on sale. Absolutely. As uh, Lisa was saying, uh, she booked that first evening for her, uh, her uh, restaurant. They threw in a bottle of wine. What's wrong with any of that? Nothing. Uh, so I would take a look at that for sure. Uh, just see if we have any more comments here from anybody else. Uh, Troll hunters are ready, Wendy is saying. Uh, uh, good tip, a sea keeper. Absolutely good tip. Uh, Ann Jordan saying same thing. Uh, keeper, I like that tip. Uh, she said me first is saying steaming bean. On my first trip, I was confused which ship was on which line. On my first trip, I was confused 
which ship was on which line. Right. Well, that can happen. There's so many ships, so many names. Shammy first is a dining room open for lunch on the first day. It should be. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It should be. It's also open for breakfast on the last day. Uh, yeah. Avoid the buffet on the last day too. Go to the dining room. Uh, be pampered one last time. Um, and throw a couple one dollar bills around. <laughs> they love you. Uh, let's see here. Um, sea keeper never follow the herd. Excellent. Excellent advice, sir. Very well said. Elisa, waterproof phone floaters. I use them for my insulin pens to keep cool in my ice buckets. If your cabin does not have a refrigerator, it works great. Excellent point, Elisa. Very well said. Uh, Richard C. Shipping first. It depends. Sometimes they will have the buffet open uh, and one or two of the restaurants for lunch. You just walk around and check it out. Ask. Ask the staff. They'll tell you. Uh, no worries. Seakeeper, check out first night done right on Royal Caribbean. It's a good deal. First. First night done right. Right on. Look into that. Blaine, Guy's Burger is a zoo as well on Embarkation Day. I have seen videos. Guy's, uh, lunch at Guy's is free, but dinner uh, has a charge. Yes, that's right. Uh, the barbecue, I think during the lunchtime it's free, but in the evening it's a charge. So uh, uh, govern yourself accordingly. Absolutely. Chevy, first, I joined the uh, Facebook for my cruise, and I'm loving it. I am getting even more excited if that's possible. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Steve Bartley, on embarkation of the Norwegian star, we ate lunch at Osh the Osh Oshanans, uh, the, uh, the uh, Irish uh, pub. Uh, Oshin Oshinans, Oshinans. <laughs> I can't pronounce it properly. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, avoid the crowds and, uh, and, and have a better quality meal. Uh, the main dining room is a great way to go, or special dining for sure. Tom Henry, anyone have a good tip on what to do with a cell phone to secure it with a strap? Uh, wish they had a screw hole like cameras could get a strap to screw in. I, I'm paranoid the cell will fall into the H2O. Um, yeah, I, I, like I said, I had this one item that was a lanyard, went around your neck, and the phone would just go inside this container, like a snapshot unit, waterproof, uh, sandproof, dustproof. Um, that's one solution, but then you got to wear it around your, your neck. Um, but otherwise, uh, yeah, the problem, uh, Tom Henry, unless you're using a uh, – you know, if you're using a selfie stick, be careful. Uh, the phone is okay as long as you don't hit anything with it. You know, I mean, you bump into something with a cell phone stick and it jars the phone out and it's going overboard. Be careful uh, with something like that. Um, so watch that. Steaming beans. Show me first. Good tip. I joined my Facebook group uh, and has helped me getting into my cruise. How about that? Um, Let's see here. And Jordan, uh, show me first. Welcome to the Facebook page. Uh, Tom Henry, say, uh, Steve. That is the best place to eat. A buffet is too crowded. Yeah, steaming. Uh, I gave up on selfie sticks, he's saying. I gave up. Uh, Blaine, <coughs> fanny packs, uh, Tom. Uh, that's old school, but use it. Uh, I'm not sure if they're waterproof, though. Laugh out loud. Chevy and first uh, at Ann Jordan. I am uh, Carolyn Clam in there. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Robert Brandt, many cell phones overheat by the pool or beach, so cover them. That's another factor, too. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, those of you who have been, uh, I, I'm not sure, Chevy, are you a member of my Facebook page, Traveling with Bruce? Uh, I hope you are. Uh, those of you who don't know, we have a Facebook group page called Traveling with Bruce, uh, and uh, you're all welcome to join that and post anything you like. Uh, what else is I going to talk about? Uh, bringing what you can bring on board a cruise. Uh, some cruise lines let you bring a bottle of wine. Some uh, don't allow any alcoholic beverages. Don't bring plastic bottles. Uh, cruise lines are getting into the no plastic at sea deal. So if you want to bring uh, something to drink uh, with you, uh, beverage, make sure it's in either in aluminum cans or glass bottles. Uh, otherwise, don't do it in plastic, all right? Um, drink packages, yes or no? Uh, this is one of those age-old debates. Should I get a drink package? Should I not get a drink package? Um if you're uh, if you're looking to drink more than seven or eight or nine drinks a day, then you might be okay with a drink package. Otherwise, I would go a la carte. I would also recommend to, to keep in mind if you're on a seven day cruise and you've got three or four port days where you're we're at shore, you will be able to drink alcohol on shore at much cheaper prices than on the ship during daylight hours. And so, uh, if you're in Puerto Rico. Uh, and you're taking just a walk through Old Town, Puerto Rico. There's all kinds of places, corner stores, where you can buy a beer and drink it <laughs> like you're walking along the street. Uh, go into the little park area and enjoy and, and take a spritzer with you or whatever you're picking up if you're into that. Um, but otherwise, uh, you know, uh, Cozumel, you've got Hooters there. You've got Senior Frogs there. 
and you get a bucket of beer for 20 bucks or something like that and enjoy or buy a pitcher for four adults together can chip in and, and enjoy themselves and at much cheaper prices than on the cruise when you get back to the ship you're, uh, you're drinking in a little more moderate uh, pace because you've been drinking all afternoon anyway why uh, you know, why overdo it no point might be time to head for the spa and sweat it out anyway <laughs> Uh, let's see here, uh, Tom Henry. Um, it, the problem is I want it attached to my wrist while taking pictures so I don't drop it. The holders and fanny packs don't solve my issues. Ah, there you go. I see what you're saying, Tommy. Yeah, this is a problem with phones. How do you handle it? I uh, really don't know. A uh, wristband uh, that it's attached to it is uh, inconvenient. Uh, I, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Steamy bean, but the uh, uh, but they sell plastic beer bottles. Uh, well, I think the cruise lines are getting out of that. Uh, I think they're going glass. Chevy first, I will join Bruce. Uh, uh, I found you when I first booked my cruise in December. I just resurrected my Facebook. Oh, right on. Yeah, uh, traveling with Bruce, come to the site, come to the page, and uh, I'll let you in as a member for sure. Uh, that'll be great. Uh, Robert uh, Brandt, uh, the break, um, even on most drink packages, is six to seven a day. There you go. Uh, Nina, hi, Bruce and all. Regards from a sunny Sweden. Hi, Nina. How you doing? Um, let's see here. Ann Jordan, uh, awesome. Uh, Shaving first. Uh, please join Traveling with Bruce on Facebook. A sea keeper, get yourself one of Brucey's travel mugs. Great product and environment friendly. Great for hot or cold packages. There you go. One of the travel mugs with the TLB logo on it. And, uh, and uh, use that on the ship. Absolutely. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tracy, for us, uh, for us uh, cheaper to buy a drink or get a drink in the casino than, than a drink package. Bring a bottle of wine, have a drink in port. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, go to the casino and, um, you know, you want to play a slot machine a little bit, they should come around and offer you a drink. If they don't, uh, if there's two of you, uh, you know, leave the slot machine. Let your, let your better half keep an eye on it. Go to the bar in the casino and say, we're playing those slot machines on there. Can we have a couple of drinks? They'll give you drinks. There's no charge for drinks in the casino. They shouldn't be charging you uh make sure you get some free drinks at the casino they 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 will pour they will pour blaine uh be careful at, at port days when they have all-inclusive drink packages don't get wasted and forget your cruise departure time that's right <laughs> <clears throat> well said blaine <laughs> always a good tip tom henry uh, i guess the sony camera has a purpose in life for a while i guess so tom <laughs> i guess so the steamy bean i don't need footage of myself running for the pier no i don't we <laughs> Uh, look at that guy running with those painted toenails. Oh, man, that guy's late. Oh, he's in trouble. Uh, Robert Brandt, I used to sell alcohol to the cruise ships in St. Thomas. And no plastic is 100% correct. They only want glass. See, there you go. They are shifting over. Uh, and Jordan, uh, Tom, uh, Thomas Henry, I think you can get uh, uh, grip holders for your camera or, uh, or phone on Amazon. Check it out. Uh, go to Bruce's link and then shop on Amazon. See what you can find. That's my suggestion to you is go to my link first, please. Please. Uh, Robert Grant, they crushed the bottle and they dumped glass at sea. Um, I, is that true, uh, Robert? Do they actually dump it at sea or do they uh, wait until they get back to port and offload the giant, uh, those giant metal containers full of the broken glass? I, I always thought they did that. I don't know. Hard to say. I, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not an expert in that area. Um, Nina Frank uh, missed many Steamings, uh, streamings, a bit, but been ill. Nina, stop getting sick. Please get better. Um, pace yourself. Welcome back to my show. And I'm glad you're able to join me today. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, Anne, how did you get my name in orange? I've tried that thing uh, with the logo, and uh, but I can't make it work. And Jordan, hope you're feeling better, Nina. Steaming beans, sorry to hear that, Nina. Richard C., for a 28-day cruise for two, a drink package would be 3800 bucks. I think I'll just buy by the glass. Yeah, me too. I agree. Wendy Thompson, a maple leaf on his big toe. That's right. There's, who's that guy running on the pier uh, with the maple leaves on his big toes? Uh, he sure seems to be in an awful hurry. Um, <laughs> Bean, Blaine is saying, Bean, you must be really late if you're running. Uh, yeah, he would be. <laughs> Situation critical. <laughs> I think so. Uh, dump glass, recycle aluminum. Interesting. Uh, and Jordan, definitely Bruce's uh, link on Amazon by <laughs> with Bruce. Definitely. Uh, thank you, Ed. Uh, Seakeeper, uh, dump glass at sea? I don't think so. Uh, steaming bean, I try to be back like two hours before the ship uh, leave, leaves port. Mary Ellen, uh, Tom, Henry, check out Pop Sockets uh, for your phone. It helps you to hold more securely. Pop Sockets. 
Hmm, Robert Brandt, they dump food waste also. Oh, that I can see. The fish can eat that. Shebbing first, uh, uh, put uh, in front of, the, put this, swiggle in front of the name. Okay, uh, Robert Brandt, the crushed glass is basically sand. Uh, crushed glass, I see. So it'll be crushed first, then dumped on. Robert, uh, Tom Henry, uh, send your traveling with Bruce bottles to me. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm getting about 10 gallons of water from the new Demeter hum <laughs> humidifiers every day. Uh, you guys want some water? He's got water. Uh, Tom Henry's got water coming out of his dehumidifiers. <laughs> That's awesome, man. And Jordan, why can't we take on plastic water bottles for water on ships? Uh, uh, but they charge ridiculous amounts for the bottled water. Uh, yeah, and they're trying to get away from plastic. That's what they're trying to do now. I think they sell bottled water in plastic bottles on the cruise ships. Uh, but I think as these uh, months go by and over the next year or two, I have a feeling that bottled water may no longer be in plastic bottles anymore. It may just be in glass bottles. We'll have to see how this shifts because uh, all these cruise lines are signing up to not using plastics at See if at all possible. Um, we'll have to see how that plays out. Cool jazz. Have to take your own straws also. Uh, yeah, and I wouldn't take plastic straws. Take paper straws. Um, Chevy first, Tom Henry put the thing in front of the name. Steaming Bean, that drink package on NCL is a whack -a doodle Water is not included. Isn't that crazy? Uh, cool jazz. Uh, Tom Henry, freeze that water and start selling ice. <laughs> there you go. Cool jazz has advice for you. Just the salad is frozen ice. Uh, ice, get in the ice cube business. Oh my God. Steamy Bean, I'm going to be using tap water and why not? I, take your drink, uh, take your uh, sport mug that you bring on board. It's another tip. Bring one of these on a cruise, uh, either one of traveling with Bruce's or a big one like that. Take that on a cruise, empty, and then uh, fill, the, uh, fill that up with ice and cold water in the buffet the, at the water station. You can get all the water you want, not to buy it from anybody and then just walk right out of there with your sport mug. Enjoy. Buff face, you can walk in there and walk out of there all you want. Um, let's see here. Uh, Chevy, first question. How is the water on the boat at the buffet restaurant? Should I order the 12 pack? The water's fine. The water's absolutely fine. It's like restaurant. Uh, tap, the water, the, 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 the tap water is completely drinkable. It's safe. It's very good. Uh, highly treated. It's well monitored. You should have no problems whatsoever. All the ice cubes are made with ship water. Uh, it's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go to the, go to the buffet. They'll bring you a glass of water if you want one, or you can get it yourself at the at the water station where they have the coffee and the tea. You can go and get your own. <clears throat> but take along your sport mug just before you leave the buffet to walk around the deck and wherever you're going. If you go to the uh, you know uh, workout area or uh, just going to the pool deck or what whatnot, grab your sport mug to the to go to the water station, fill it up, and there should be an ice dispenser there. Put a bunch of ice in there, fill it up with water. You don't have to buy water on on board a cruise. Never. You don't have to. Uh, let's see here. In your room, uh, tell your steward to bring a bucket of ice every day into your room. He'll, he'll have one there probably by 10 in the morning. If you leave by 9, 9.30, by 10 in the morning, he'll be in there. Likely he, sometimes she. Uh, they will make your bed, of course, and clean up your room and leave a bucket of ice. It'll be waiting there. And in the evening, there'll be a fresh bucket of ice. And uh, if you uh, just want to get some water to drink uh, to take around the ship with your sport mug, go to your room. Grab the ice cubes, throw them in there, go to your bathroom and run the cold water and use a small cup to fill up your sport mug. It's fine. It's absolutely fine water. Nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Um, let's see here. Elisa, a GoPro uh, has a wrist cell phone strap that you can connect to your cell phone. I bought mine at Best Buy for 25 bucks. Hold my GoPro, my waterproof camera, and my iPhone 8 just have to buy the attachment. There you go. There's an idea. Um, and Jordan at Thomas Henry, uh, Chevy first, uh, how does it taste? Water's great. Uh, it's, it really, it's really, yeah, it's, it's real tap water. It really is plain. It's the real deal. Robert, uh, the ships have high filtration systems for the tap water. It's fine. Tom Henry is saying hi, uh, having issues with his coloring. Steamy bean. I got tap water from the buffet, but not my cabin. No, you can go any way you want. Cool jazz. Uh, Tom, you don't see the color. It's the alert. The person you're sending the text to. Oh, you don't see it. The person who gets it. Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, Tom, uh, the cool jazz, uh, private alert. Everyone's talking about how to do coloring posts. Uh, no space to go for that. <laughs> Everyone's talking about coloring. Anyway, um, yeah, the water is fine. Absolutely a-okay. Um, bring with you on your cruise power a power strip bar. Uh, but you can't have a surge protector on it. 
can't have a surge protector. Bring the power strip bar for all your electronics. A number of the cruise lines, uh, the older ships in particular, only have one plug in the room. Uh, today, we have so many electronics that we need to get recharged every night. Our laptops, our uh, tablets, our cell phones, our cameras. Uh, you need, you need uh, multiple plugs to do all that. Bring your own. I've got one in the link in my Amazon store. If you go to my Amazon store, you can find it. And uh, uh, tonight on this description, I'll put a link into my store as well as the Amazon homepage. But you can find the uh, perfect cruise ship uh, power strips there. Uh, 10, 15, 20 bucks. They're not that expensive. Um, let's see here. Uh, Tracy, some of us, Bruce, just don't drink anything but bottled water and no ice, especially when you're uh, in an uncompromised. Uh, I'm just, I'm not just nuts. No, Tracy, it's okay. It's all cool. Whichever way you want to go, it's fine with me. Um, you know, personally, I don't care, but I will say uh, if you want to buy bottled water, you can. Uh, if you want to bring it on board, most cruise lines will let you do it. Um, I know, and you know, that right now, bottled water is basically in plastic containers. Um, for as far as I know, you can still bring them on a cruise ship. I haven't heard that you can't, but I have a feeling eventually you won't be able to, but maybe not for a year or two. I, I don't know. So wh whatever works for you, my dear, go with it. Uh, but as I say, I have, I have found, for my personal experience, that yeah i don't mind bottled water i enjoy it too but uh, on a cruise ship i've had no issues drinking from the uh, either from the tap or from the uh, at the buffet or when i'm in the dining room they bring me a glass of water i've had no issues but that's me that's just me uh tom henry okay thanks everyone for the help and jordan can we bring glass water drinking bottles on a cruise ship can we bring glass water drinking bottles depends on the cruise line uh, and some cruise lines won't allow bottled water on board it's the dumbest rule I can't believe it, why they would go stoop so low to do that, but they're nickel and diamond, some of these guys. Uh, so check with the cruise line on what's allowed. Robert Brandt, a strip with a UB, USB outlet is good too. That's why I should have said, Robert, you're right. I had a uh, link to one of these power strips that had, I think, three USB port plugs and plugs for the uh, regular bolt, the 110 volt. Uh, very uh, good, very good unit. Um, and I'll try to... Uh, I'll find it and I'll repost it again. Um, I'll repost it on my Facebook uh, uh, group page. I'll, I'll, I'll post it there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, cool jazz. Tom Henry, there will be a quiz tomorrow. Make sure you study. <laughs> Robert Brandt, they don't want bottled because they think it's booze. And there you see, there's the vodka. The people bringing vodka on board inside water bottles. And that's why they don't allow water bottles. Uh, that's the reason. It's not because of the water. They just don't want you sneaking alcohol inside other kinds of containers. How about that, right? That's why a can of caffeine-free Diet Coke, they'll let that go because they know there isn't any booze in there. But a bottle of uh, uh, Diet Caffeine-Free could be half and half, could be half cola, half rum. That's a no-no. You don't want to be caught doing that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's see here. Uh, packaging has to be unbroken and sealed. Blaine, the same cool jazz bottle might be a hazard if they break. That's the other issue, isn't it, with glass? If it falls, you have a, a hazard, especially with people walking with flip-flops. Bad news. Um, yeah, that could be a problem. That's why plastic was such a godsend. But in the sea, it's not a good idea. So there you go, back and forth. Isn't it something? Bring along one of those right there. Uh, steaming bean, I am really not a drinker, but on the ship, I will indulge. <laughs> You're not driving. Have a good time, steamer, absolutely. And show off those painted toenails to everyone who wants to take a look, and uh, why not? Well, there you are, folks. I think we came up with some pretty good tips today for all these new cruisers. Um, there's so many more. Uh, Robert Brandt, I can, I can tell you how to get the top water bottle without breaking the seal. See, there's tricks, tricks, always tricks. Tracy Dillon, last time on Carnival, you could only bring the small bottles, 12 ounces or less. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of restrictions. Cruise lines just don't want you cheating and bringing on the contraband. Uh, that's how they make their living. They uh, sell you booze, or at least some of the people they sell booze to, and uh, that helps pay a lot of the bills. Go to the casino and get a free drink there. And you know what? Um, <clears throat> you're there in the afternoon, and you get a beer. And uh, you have a, th a quarter of the beer, and then you leave the casino with your beer. No one's going to stop you. 
go to the pool deck and enjoy the rest of your beer on the pool deck um, in the evening. Uh, go in there and, uh, you know, play for a couple of minutes, get a free drink, and then leave. Uh, hopefully, you haven't lost $10 to get a free drink. <laughs> play the minimum, I suppose. But uh, there's ways. Um, let's see your cruise uh, cool jazz. Look on YouTube for bottle hacks. Don't do it. Don't do it. And Jordan, uh, these are um, uh, BHP free recyclable bottles for water. Our 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 BHP free recyclable bottles for water. I don't know what that means. Um, Jim Thomas, have a good day and see you all tomorrow. A great show again, Bruce. Cool jazz. Saw a guy refill a Listerine bottle with booze without breaking the seal. Yeah, I, I don't recommend doing that. Um, Tom Henry, I recommend a, a Europe power strip that converts to US and has a USB. I bought I bought on Amazon several years ago, and it is great. Smaller Norwegian ships don't have US power in the right spots. Interesting, very interesting, uh, Tom. Uh, good point there. Um, again, the, these newer power, the newer power strips that they have now have five or six outlets. You know, three for uh, like your phone. Your cameras can be recharged, perhaps in these things or com computers, tablets, and then you've got your regular outlets. Uh, they're so versatile. It's incredible. Um, uh, Tom Harv Tom Henry, uh, uh, ever hear of a sneaky butler? It's a way to pull a cork on a wine bottle, refill and recork. Oh, man. <laughs> Tom, you're too crafty. You're just too crafty, Tom. You're, you're <laughs> See what I mean? Bringing brews on the ships. That was the cruise wars theme that I won on. There you are. He's saying he won his argument. Uh, bringing crews on the ship, uh, <laughs> I, I say wear a kilt. Uh, just wear a kilt. And guys, uh, you can tape a 36 ouncer on the inside of thigh here, 36 ouncer on this thigh here. No one's going to look up the kilt because what's up there stays up there. It's private. No one looks up there. You don't want to know what's up there. And just walk on the walk on board with those bottles taped to your legs. It's all fine. That's what I said on uh, travel on cruise wars. Um, <laughs> cool jazz you can wear this tie you can wear this tie with a shirt sought for father's day uh, you, uh you can wear this tie with a shirt sought for father's day uh, i'm not sure what you mean is it a tie that holds booze i'm, I'm not sure what you mean uh i, I don't know some of the comments are kind of getting out there getting up further away from me to understand Guys, thank you for watching my show today. Uh, we had a pretty good crowd today. Uh, how are we doing for thumbs ups? Uh, 25 thumbs ups today. If any of you haven't given me one and would like to, please give me one now. I could use the thumbs ups. It helps with the channel analytics performance. It shows YouTube that the viewers are engaged with the creator and uh, he's doing something right and they promote the channel more. They promote my videos. Uh, thank you for that. If any of you... Uh, are watching any of my videos out there and you drop me a comment even if you say a nice video bruce even leaving me a comment on a video that i've done before adds to the momentum of the channel i would really appreciate that if you could do that also any of you who are not subscribers there's a subscribe button here there's a subscribe button there uh, over here is a bell notification icon looks like a little bell you hit that as well you'll get notifications every time i do a new uh, video and i go live uh just looks like i hit 30 subscribers 30 uh, uh thumbs ups just now so thank you for that um and uh blaine is saying uh, he's gonna see uh, see me tomorrow at eight he's gonna make it for trivia you can't make the five show i'll look forward to seeing you pal and the uh, steaming bean blaine be nice laugh out loud uh, blaine especially if bean has a kilt on <laughs> uh my goodness and jordan i wish the cruise lines would stop charging ricky is charged for bottled water well and i I'm, i agree with you but there like i said there's ways around it uh, on port days, you know, when you're going off the ship, uh, you can always bring back a six pack of uh, bottles, water. You should be able to bring it on board without too much hassle. There's ways around it. Um, but, uh, you know, these sport cups can save you a ton of money if you use them right. I use them for my caffeine free Diet Coke. I put my ice cubes in there, put in two cans of caffeine free. I'm good for an hour or two. It's fantastic. Uh, Drew of Chemicals, Bruce. Oh, thank you, uh, Ann Jordan, for explaining that to me that BHP, uh, the chemical thing. Blaine, the onboard water isn't uh, badly priced. Better than hauling it around. There you go. Uh, uh, and Jordan Free. Oops. <laughs> the steaming bean. Now you have more Fonzies than viewers. I have more I have more thumbs ups than people watching me right now. How about that? I got 30 up and, and uh, 32 up and 30 watching. How about that? They're slowly leaving me. Uh, but they should be. I was 40 saying my goodbyes. Anyway, the show is it. This is the end of the show. I'm uh, packing it in. I'll be here tomorrow for two shows, five and eight. 
thanks everybody for joining me. Thanks for the affiliate linking on Amazon. I really appreciate you doing that when you buy something there. Thanks for the donations on pay, PayPal. Uh, thank you again. And uh, and thanks for uh, picking up the merchandise, picking up Travel with Bruce stuff, TWB. I'll see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Have a good evening, everybody, and take care. We'll see you then. See you.